So one of the most common questions I get is, can a men pin live at home with children? And the answer is definitely yes. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how you can introduce your men pin to your kids, whether they're older, smaller, or maybe even a baby. Hey guys, welcome back to Men Pin Nation. My name is Nate. It's good to be with you once again this week. So the big question is, is can men pins and children even get along? Now why is this such a debated topic? Well, a lot of it we'll have to talk about first is with the men pin you know, temperament. So men pins, they do have a strong willed temperament. And while dogs are gonna be different, every kind of men pin's gonna follow their own path. They do tend to be sometimes high strung, some of them are, and also they are independent and they're kind of just stubborn to be honest and so sometimes they don't maybe interact well with children but i will say that usually has to do more with how the owner has introduced them to other children or whether they grew up around other children okay so let's talk about men pins with your small children. Now the small children range is probably gonna be about, you know, the age of two up to about, you know, six to eight years old, depending on the maturity of your child and I guess the maturity of your dog as well. Um, now, so whether you're introducing a puppy or an older dog, you wanna make sure that you always have frequent supervised visits. Now this is very, very key because you never wanna just trust them, either one of them, um, blindly even after you've done it for a little while because it will only take one time of you know your child mishandling the the dog for them to either get scared maybe even bite or growl or something to lash you know lash back so it will take a, quite some time until um, you get to the point that you should feel comfortable just letting them you know play together but some things you can do is you can really just incorporate them into the daily life so, you know, you know, feeding time is a very important time and a very trusting time for your men pin. So if you allow your child to kind of help you get the, you know, get their food for them in the morning and at evening time and, you know, you feed it to them and you, you know, maybe help them feed them, you know, maybe actually feed them a little bit from their hand. Uh, be careful. Don't let them go, you know, try to take the bowl back or do anything like that because, you know, depending on the... Um, demeanor of your men pin you know they could end up obviously getting you know growled at or snapped at even but definitely incorporating that feeding time in various ways and that will help show that trust for your men pin and your child and it'll teach your child you know how to feed them properly as well so something else you can kind of take that a step further is um, is what they're training you know if you're doing some some type of training you definitely can you know teach them simple commands and while you're teaching your puppy or older dog um, you can just incorporate your, your children to that as well. You know, so just teaching them command, um, that's going to kind of teach them, both your child, kind of that, you know, obviously training them to be able to train a dog, you know, for future. Also, but it's just going to help them learn how to be a leader and how to command a dog and how to kind of understand a relationship. And then for your men pin, it's definitely going to help them to say, hey, this this person here is obviously, you know, is giving commands just like my normal owner would and you know obviously if you're passing out treats then you know no min pin's gonna back down from that so those are the two biggest things and just incorporate them into other parts you know as you're introducing them and you're playing with your dog you know make sure that your child is there playing with you as well and like i said it's kind of a two-sided story you want to make sure that you're training your dog to react to your child correctly but you also got to train your child at the same time you know, you have to make sure to watch it. That way they're not going to start pulling or they're not going to start trying to ride the men pin or whatever it may be. Just you got to be there and kind of guide both, both the dog and the child through this process. And definitely it is, you know, my kids love our two men pins. They get along just fine now. And it was kind of this process to help us get to that point. Okay, so now let's talk about men pins and infants or you know the newborns or you know like I have a one-year-old at home right now um, so the important thing that you kind of need to shift between the small children and the infant is obviously the infants not gonna be able to participate in the same type of activities that your children older are going to be able to participate in but it doesn't mean that you don't still need to help that socialization key happen there so you know obviously it's a very exciting time 
Um, now, if you already have a men pin at home and you know you find out that you're going to be bringing a new baby into your home, um, start thinking about how you want them to interact even before the, the new baby is born and brought home. Now, part of that's going to be things like, you know, a really good time to really work on helping your men pin not to jump up as much. Because even though men pins are a smaller breed of dog, um, jumping up on a newborn baby or something like that could still definitely hurt the baby. So if you know that one's on the way, start working on keeping them to stay down, you know, giving them, com teaching them those commands to stay, or if they do start to get excited to find ways to get that excitement out prior to them, you know, coming in contact with the newborn baby. Because obviously they're going to be super excited and probably a little nervous about what this new thing is in their house. And so kind of teaching those behaviors, first of all, will really, really help out. So, so you definitely, kind of like we talked about with your small children, you definitely don't ever want to leave a baby unsupervised with any type of animal you know even your even your men pin even you know blitz you know who i've had for you know over a decade i wouldn't want to just leave them alone with my new baby now part of that's going to be especially when they're newborns is the dog because you just don't know especially if you've never had a baby in the house or even for us you know it's been you know six or seven years since we had our last child and blitz hasn't seen a baby in that time so i had to definitely make sure that he understood and Zoe understood as well what that kind of relationship was going to be. Uh, so definitely, you know, let them investigate, let them understand the newborn in the house, but definitely don't leave them unsupervised. Now fast forward that as the baby starts to move around and starts crawling around and, you know, maybe even starts to walk, you know, when they hit that first year mark or so, then you still want to keep them supervised. And part of that at that point is, you know, it's it's still for the safety of the of the child, but then also it's really is the safety of the dog, because you know my little one he likes to crawl around and pull up on everything and try to mess with everything and grab everything, and so you know we've had to really watch him. You know he's tried to you know use Blitz as a standing post, you know, because he's trying to stand up right now, or you know he wants to look at Blitz's ears and eyes and everything else, and Blitz is super super good with him and really you know keeps his cool but you have to be careful because obviously you don't want them to hurt your dog you know but it's especially being an older dog like that so make sure that you're working with them and make sure you're keeping them supervised and really show them early on you know even as you know you know six month old one year old that you know how we treat animals how we treat our dogs and this will definitely as they grow into that next phase with the small children phase um, they'll already be pros when they get to that point and they'll just kind of fit right in so having a men pin and a child is are definitely great things to have together another thing that i've always been asked about is how about a men pin and a cat so i did a video all about how to introduce your men pin to your cat so you can check that video by clicking on the screen now and we'll see you over in that video.